So my name is Wing Li. I'm the CEO of YTL Communications. Uh, we are a 4G internet service provider in Malaysia, and uh, we believe that we are one of the uh, leading pioneers in the space of uh, 4G mobile internet. Yeah. So as the CEO of the company, I'm responsible for leading the company uh, to create uh, innovation uh, that can be used by Malaysians day in day out. So we have the uh, fantastic 4G network. In the last 32 months, we launched our network um, with 60% uh, population coverage, and now we have over 85% population coverage. And we also have uh, been rated as the fastest network in Malaysia, month after month after month for the last 32 months, uh, as the fastest wireless internet service provider. So not only that we have the largest nationwide 4G network with 85% population coverage, we also have the highest performing uh, wireless network in this country. So in combination, we believe that we have created a level playing field for Malaysians throughout the country, whether it is West Malaysia or East Malaysia, to use the internet <coughs> as a way to create value for their lives as well as for other people's lives. Not only that we have a uh, highest performing and widest 4G network in this country, in fact, we have the widest 4G network in the entire uh, Southeast Asian area, uh, we believe that our platform actually is a platform that can enable the next generation of internet economy for Malaysia. So one thing that we believe in is that to the extent that we increase internet penetration for the country, there will be a direct correlation towards the improvement of GDP for the country. Now, how do you improve GDP? GDP happens by way of improvement happens because there's new economic activity that takes place. So from our perspective, we believe that our network is actually an enabler of a new economy driven with, by new innovations on the internet. In, in, in essence, what we're trying to create is a platform to enable an internet-driven economy for this country. Now, Malaysia has tremendous potential. Having said that, today, Malaysia's potential is mostly in the physical realm, in the area of uh, uh, raw materials production, as well as manufacturing, and so on. I think we have a tremendous opportunity to leverage the beautiful brain power of Malaysians and from many young people in Malaysia, unleash that capability of theirs using the digital realm to create new values that Malaysia can compete not just domestically but globally as well. Uh, it goes back to three things that I believe in by way of uh, uh, qualities of a professional. And naturally, if you exhibit those qualities, then you will emerge to be given leadership opportunities. Because I believe that leadership opportunities are given to you because you exhibit those qualities. No one appoints you as leader, hoping that you will, at some point, grow into a leader. People appoint you as leader because they recognize already in you that you have that quality to be a leader. So when it goes back to my uh, core principles, it boils down to three things. Number one, I believe that you must ensure that you honor your own brand. I believe that my name, Wing Lee, is my brand. And everything that I do that's got my name associated, I want to make sure that it is absolutely the best that I could perform. Number two, I will continue to seek to create new opportunities for me to create value. It's not good enough for me just to do what is expected in my job, but to do what is above and beyond what is expected in my job to allow me to create more value allow me to be uh, able to provide more uh, leadership capability uh, for others. And the last piece, uh, I believe, that is absolutely important, is that anyone in the professional area must be able to work with other people to create more value. Because one single person can only create so much value. To the extent that you can work with other people in collaboration, can create even more value, that should provide you a platform uh, to actually exhibit your leadership qualities. So it goes back to the three core principles that I believe in as a professional. As you exhibit these three qualities uh, by way of principles to live your life as a professional, then you will have the ability to be recognized and given more responsibility, more empowerment, so you can create even more value uh, for the company that you're in. So the average age in my company changes a bit every so often because you know we have uh, people come and people go and so on and so forth. 
So, but I'm proud to say we have a very young company. Our average age, our, our average age is in the mid, uh, in the uh, early 30s, for our company. So, I'm already older than the average uh, in, my, in, my, in my staff already. But I'm quite quite pleased that uh, there are so many young, talented Malaysians that are absolutely quite uh, excited to join our company because they believe in our vision of providing high quality internet throughout the country. I think all Malaysians realize that we could use better internet connectivity uh, for this country. And if they can be part of that company that's able to actually carry on that mission and deliver that mission uh, every day, I think that's uh, very gratifying. So I'm very, very pleased that we have a large group of Malaysian staff. In fact, uh, as I mentioned earlier with the fellow students uh, in our company, uh, you know, we have 98% of our entire staff that are local Malaysians. So I'm proud to say that not only that we have young folks in our company, we also have young Malaysian folks in our company working side by side every day as a team to create value, not just for Malaysia, and hopefully help Malaysia compete globally as well. So I think the most important uh, opportunity when it comes to entrepreneurship is about a willingness to try and to fail. Too often, if you shy away from trying, then you'll never accomplish anything. If you try, but you fail, and you stop trying, you'll never also accomplish anything. So I think entrepreneurs, by definition, have to have an appetite for risk, because it's the risk-taking, um, uh, the courage to take risk, that enable an entrepreneur to go and try new ideas, new methods, and fail, but still believe in that, uh, you know, that objective, and try other methods to achieve that objective, and in so doing, he can or she can create value and create new innovation. I think that's ultimately the definition of entrepreneurship. Okay, for my last two questions, since you've been talking about like uh, leadership qualities and also entrepreneur qualities, can you give me the, some of the best company moments and also some of the f best family moments that you have in your life as Mr. Wing Lee? Well, you know, uh, I'll, talk to my, I'll talk about my family first. Um, and I, I love my family. I have a small family. I have a you know, wife and uh, two young children. And one thing that I'm most proud of is that uh, I, make sh I try to make sure, uh, as I mentioned just now with uh, your fellow uh, students, that all of us only have 24 hours. And it's up to us how to spend that 24 hours to create the most value. And I think leadership is also about having the wisdom to apply yourself and manage your time in such a way that you can create the most value all over, not just in one single element in your life. So one thing that I'm uh, quite convinced of is that while I do not spend as much time with my kids, maybe compared to some other parents, just because of my workload, I make certain that the time that I spend with them, I want to give them the best memory. Because at the end of the day, if you think about our childhood, it's the memory that we built upon them. It's not about how much time I see dad hanging around in the house. It's what memory my dad has given me that shaped my life. And I like to give my kids, uh, the, to the extent I can, uh, good memories and memories that I can use to build their character and have them shape their life. And I think in that regard, I think uh, uh, I'm happy what I've done so far. Of course, I'll have to keep trying to do better and do more. But uh, I think uh, I'm on to uh, the right track when it comes to how I lead my family life. When it comes to professional life, uh, one thing that I'm most proud of about uh, our company is that obviously uh, with enough capital and we do have uh, strong backing from the Whitetail Group to run our business, uh, to build our business, uh, we certainly can build networks. Anyone with enough money, uh, enough people, they can build network. But one thing that we've done quite right is that we decided that our network is not just about delivering internet connectivity. It's about enabling that network to create more value for people at the services level. So based on that core belief, uh, our team, we have worked together to create an ID-based network. So the internet works based on identity. If you go to Facebook, it asks you for an ID. If you go to Gmail, if you go to Yahoo, it asks you for an ID. Once you enter your ID and password, then they'll present you with the most exciting, uh, most innovative set of services. So what we've done is that we believe that the internet is the ultimate platform for innovation. So we must ensure that our network 
is fully compatible with the internet from day one. So towards the end, we look at how the existing networks are being built. The existing networks are built based on SIM cards. The problem is that if you look at how people use devices, they tend to use more than one devices at a time. SIM cards were designed for the days when mobile devices are in the shape of a phone and you use it to make phone calls and no one need to carry more than one phone at a time for the most part. So SIM card work and serve the need of the days of telephony. But SIM card doesn't quite fit the picture of internet. In fact, if you go to YouTube, YouTube will not ask you to please insert your SIM card before you can play the video for you. So when we built our network, we say that globally, all the internet properties are aligning themselves to an ID-based network, to an ID-based architecture. Therefore, we must build our network from ground up to have an ID-based capability. So we actually introduce a yes ID based architecture, whereby every single of our subscribers are given an ID. With that ID, they have access to our network, brilliant, and we also recognize that people are using more than one devices at a time, and as time goes on, they will have more than two, more than three, more than five devices in their lives. Whether it's this device for the sake of uh, enjoying your life as an entertainment device, or a device you can use to conduct business, or even medical devices that can help maintain your health, or other devices that can help run your life more efficiently, such as smart homes and others. So we know that people would have more and more and more devices that need to be connected to the internet. In fact, that's a concept of Internet of Things that basically says that anything that carries an electron should have an IP address, should be addressable, right? So in that, based on that new concept of there will be multiple devices that need to be connected in a single person's life, we engineer our network from ground up to support concurrency. What that means is that with a single Yes ID, the same Yes ID can be used on multiple devices, and all these devices can have connection at the same time to the internet and enjoy services. And all this in our design correspond back to the same building system. What that means is that with that same Yes ID, we're able to provide only one price, one price plan that allows for multiple devices to be enjoyed. In fact, we are the first in the world, right here in Malaysia, 32 months ago, to launch a share everything pricing architecture. This is amazing innovation. And that's why we were recognized as the world's best new service in year 2011. Uh, in America, AT&T and Verizon only launched their share everything uh, price plan last summer. So we are ahead of the world by fully two years. And back to your point about leadership, it's about having the right vision and be able to inspire the team to follow and to work together and lead the team towards this common goal, to create this amazing network, to create this amazing ID-based architecture and enable our customers to have this amazing freedom and convenience in their life. I think at the end of the day, leadership is about taking action to drive new changes, create innovation, and allow for the innovation to reach the hand of the people it's intended. Okay, so I think we must believe in ourselves and we must not set limits for ourselves. At the end of the day, I think all of us have an amazing canvas in our life. It's up to all of us how we decide to paint the canvas to the fullest. So don't be shy. Make bold actions and exert yourself every day, maximize your time. Create value. Okay, thank you so much.